Hey, what's going on? Mike Locke here with ML Web Consulting. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do this little uh, this cover flow effect, this design look and feel where you have a box here and you have angled boxes on the right and the left side. Um, you might be aware of this look and feel in from the Apple's iTunes store or Apple iTunes um, application where you have the covers of the albums and um, you sort of have like a nice cover in the front and the ones on the left are and right are angled with a nice reflection. Uh, recently I'm working on a client site and they want that look and feel so this is what I've, I've been working on so far but I wanted to just kind of I thought it'd be cool to kind of do a tutorial and show you how this is done. So I'm going to do my best, I'm going to go pretty fast but I'm going to do my best to try to call out um, what I'm doing because uh, your, your, your time is limited on YouTube so First thing, let's let's get started. Uh, first thing, you just start off with a blank canvas, 900 by 600, and let's grab our pen tool and just click right here in the middle off the canvas. Hold your shift key and then click off the canvas again, and then you're gonna just do release the shift key and then just kind of curve that up a little bit. All right. Now you're gonna click the point here to give it a sharp edge. Again, click, click, click. All right, so now you're gonna, you you want to end up with something that looks like that. All right, now let's go ahead and grab our ellipse tool, and you're gonna draw four circles. All right, doesn't matter how you do them; you can do them one by one, or you can hold Alt and drag and just kind of like duplicate those. alright so you have your circles there just grab all your four circles and just kinda give it a nice bright color like green and then you're gonna under here under edge you wanna do feathered and you wanna give it 100 a feathered look alright grab your circles there you can do control G or command G just send those to the back and then grab this white object here in the front, change that to black, and turn the opacity down on that, the opacity down a little bit. Also grab your circles, the feathered circles, and then just kind of change the opacity down just a little bit to maybe 50. Alright, now let's go ahead and grab our rectangle tool. Let's draw our first box, just make sure that's a nice big box like that. And just make that a white box. All right, so that's your first box there. Now what you want to do is uh, go ahead and just kind of create another box. But you want to do Alt Shift and just kind of drag that one, so you just create another box to the left. But you want to grab your Scale tool and you want to bring that down just a little bit. All right, so that it's smaller. And then you want to just kind of drag it in here, drag it in there a little bit. Go ahead and grab your Distort tool. And you want to bring the bring the top right hand corner down, and then bring the top, I mean the bottom right corner up, so that you get this little look here. All right. So you're going to drag that Alt Shift, just create another one. You're going to do right click, transform, and flip horizontally, so that you have that sort of look. All right. So what I did was I went ahead and grabbed some images just going to put some images in here and the images of a car let's just paste that in there I don't want that one wait let's see copy paste alright so bring your white box to the front arrange the front and then have this car image in the back we're just going to do a mask First, let's just scale this down just a little bit so that it fits right under there. All right, select our both objects. When you do a mask, you want to make sure that your white object is in the front. Do modify, mask, group is mask. All right, so now my car is up in the front there. All right, so I want to do, uh, at this point, uh, let's do a little reflection. So I just do Alt, drag it down. Let's do modify, let's do flatten image. Right click on your image, do transform flip 
vertically. And then we're going to do Command, Creative, Auto Vector Mask. Choose this one on the left, bottom right, and apply. I mean, fireworks, by the way, if you haven't realized. <laughs> Sorry if I didn't mention that. But, um, so, uh, there's my little reflection there. You can turn the opacity down on that just a little bit to like 50 or whatever. Okay, so now that's my first object. Alright, so it's sort of starting to come about. Let's go ahead and grab my other car. Do the same thing. Paste. Kind of scale this down a little bit. I'm going to move fast here. Just bring our white object to the top. Car in the background. Let's scale it down just a little bit. We're going to do mask. Modify, mask, group as mask. So that's my other one. Right? So just do a alt shift here. So what I'm going to do is modify. I'm going to flatten this image out. I'm going to right click, transform, flip vertical, and grab my distort tool. I just want to angle this one up just a little bit so that it matches the reflection mark or that this line sort of lines up. All right, now I want to do this and then I'm going to do commands, creative, auto vector mask. Choose that one there, move the little mask up just a little bit, and there you have it. Okay, that's the first one. Then we're going to move this under here just a little bit. And uh, select this, and you're going to bring this to the top. Arrange, bring to front. Alright, you see this little bottom here? You want to cut this part out, so you want to select that. Do modify, flatten image, and you can just grab your crop tool. And then just kind of crop it right here at the corner. Alright, so that you get a nice little fresh fresh edge there. Alright, so now let's grab our other car. Got three images here. Paste. Bring that to the front. Hopefully I'm not running out of time. Let's do a modify, mask, or group is mask. Okay, alt, we drag this one down. Modify, flatten image. Right click, transform, flip vertical. Grab my distort tool. Distort this a little bit. And then you're going to go modify. I'm at commands, creative vector, auto vector mask, apply, bring that up a little bit, you can lower the opacity on that just so it's not so bright. Alright, so you select these two, bring that under this one again, select this one arrange and bring to front, and then right here, you want to select this one and just do a flatten image and you just want to cut this part out so that the reflections aren't overlapping. So that's pretty much it and then what you want to do is grab your three cars and you want to do I'm sorry grab the three cars and you want to do any filters and you want to do let's see let's give it a glow Give a nice glow, size 27 or 30, black. Alright. So there you have it. You kind of angle those. That's pretty much it. There you have it. It looks pretty sharp. Hope this was helpful. And uh, sorry I had to move a little bit too fast, but that's the time that I have on YouTube. And uh, 
Thanks for watching.